Hi, I'm Lily. I'm 21 years old from Northbrook, Illinois, and I'm a rhythmic gymnast. I have been on the USA Rhythmic Gymnastics National Team for eight years now, and I competed as a group athlete at the 2021 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. Uh, rhythmic gymnastics is my passion, and when people think about gymnastics, they often think about artistic gymnastics, which is more well-known, you know, the one where they do the flips and they do stuff on the bar and on the beam and stuff like that, but no one really knows that there are other disciplines of gymnastics, such as rhythmic. So I'd like to spread awareness and show that rhythmic is just as cool, in my opinion, and that it has so much to offer to all the kids out there. My most recent accomplishment was placing 12th in the world at the Rhythmic Gymnastics World Championships last year. And that was the first time that I competed in all four events as an individual gymnast. Uh, this year, I'm most excited to continue to improve my skills and kind of see where it takes me. And I do want to mention that doing the sport professionally does not mean you can't thrive at school as well. I really do believe that successful athletes make successful students, and this is because doing a sport seriously teaches you a lot of important life skills that will help you out in the academic world. I think the beauty and complexity of rhythmic gymnastics is what caught my eye and inspired me to try it out when I was seven years old. I started out with artistic gymnastics, and the gym that I was at also happened to have a rhythmic program, and I just remember picking up a ribbon stick and twirling around and just completely falling in love with it. A gymnast that I idolized growing up was Alina Maximenko from Ukraine because I just love her incredible artistry and expression. You could really see in her eyes at every single performance that she truly loved what she did, and I just think it makes it so much more enjoyable to watch. A piece of advice that I would give to future rhythmic gymnasts is to always remember why you started. If you truly love the sport and find joy in training and competing, then that passion is what will take you far. You shouldn't do it to win first place or for medals or prizes or because anyone else is telling you to do it. You should do it for you. At the end of the day, being internally motivated is what will bring you the most joy and allow you to continue the sport for as long as you're physically able to. I just wanted to wrap this up by saying a huge thank you to Etri Girls for inviting me to do their Instagram story takeover. And if anyone has any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to my Instagram. I'd be more than happy to help and offer any advice that I can based on my past experiences as a rhythmic gymnast. And I hope everyone is having a great start to 2023 and maybe give rhythmic gymnastics a shot.